Hello, my name is Joanna Hannefeld. I'm the head of the Center for International Health Protection at the Robert Koch Institute in Berlin, Germany. I'm a social scientist working on health systems on pandemic preparedness and response. During this outbreak of COVID-19, the Center for International Health Protection has been supporting partners and partner countries in their emergency responses to the pandemic. During this time, there have been three big questions on my mind in thinking about COVID-19 and what we can learn from this pandemic. One of the things I've been thinking about during the acute phase of this pandemic is how we can learn from, is from what we're doing now and from what is happening now for the future. So while we're responding in a very acute emergency, how can we ensure that in our actions, we strengthen public health systems more sustainably? Because what COVID-19 has shown is that we do need strong systems. We need strong and strengthened public health systems in all countries around the world. So really, how can we respond in such a way in an acute emergency that helps us prepare for the next pandemic? The second big question for me is about how we can build back better and how we can build back fairer. We've already seen that in many places, the pandemic and the impact of the pandemic has widened inequalities in health, but also socially. And this is very worrying. At the same time, what COVID-19 has really underlined is that for us to overcome challenges as humanity, we need to come together. And it only works where we work together um, in cooperation and partnership. And for me, looking at how we can build back better and fairer together is a key question for this year and the coming year. The third question for me very much relates to the work we're doing with our partners and is something that we hope to answer or go some steps towards answering this year and in the coming years through our research collaborations. And that is the question that the uh, or the issue that the pandemic has had a very different, uh, uh, a very different way in which it's played itself out on the African continent. Uh, there are many hypotheses around why that is the case related to demographics, to different structures in the way in which societies organize different levels of urbanization uh, and how the lived and built environment functions as well as, as the structures of our economy. So I think be understanding better why we're having seen uh, a different experience in many countries in Africa is one of very interesting puzzles of COVID-19 and something where we can learn a lot. We can learn from the differences just as much as we can learn from similarities. So um, I know there will be a number of scientific undertakings about that um, this year, and I'm really looking forward to understanding that much, much better. And I think it will provide great insight overall into understanding uh, COVID-19 and especially how the epidemics interact with the social context and our lived environment. So in closing, um, for me, it's about how can we be pre better prepared for the next pandemic? How can we build back better and fairer? How can we use this as an opportunity for social justice and ultimately live more in a more peaceful way between people and planet?